I've been lying down for hours now. It's 5.35 a.m. and there's not much I can do. You know what the worst part about my situation is? I'm in the same room with my parents. They keep looking at me and I can't help but look back and try not to cry or scream. Their eyes are focused on me and their mouths are wide open. There's the strong scent of blood and I feel so paralyzed with fear. Here's the thing, the second I make any hint that I'm not asleep anymore, I am completely fucked. I will die, and there's nobody around to save me. I've been trying to think of a way out, but the only idea I have is to rush for the door and run outside the front door and scream for help, hoping any neighbors will hear me. It's risky, but if I stay here, I'll surely die. He's waiting for me to wake up and see his masterpiece. You're probably wondering what's going on. I do get ahead of myself sometimes. About three hours ago, I heard screaming from the other side of the house. I got up and went to check on the noise before realizing I'd used the bathroom. Instead of doing the smart thing and investigating, I used the bathroom first. I could have gotten myself killed right then and there from my stupid actions. But I actually did my business and took a peek outside the bathroom. And there was blood on the carpet. I got very worried and ran back to my room, hiding under my sheets like the pussy I was. I tried to convince myself to go back to sleep, that it was just some really vivid dream or something. But I heard my bedroom door open. Like the terrified child I was, I peeked from under my blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging my dead parents into the room. It wasn't human, I can tell you that. It was hairless, with no eyes and no clothing. It walked like a caveman, with its back slouched as it dragged my parents. But this thing was much smarter than any caveman. It was aware of what it was doing. It propped my dad up on the edge of my bed and made him face me. It then sat my mother down in a chair and positioned her towards me as well. It then started rubbing its hands upon the wall, staining them with blood and then drew a circle with a devil's pentagram in it. This thing had made what it would probably call a masterpiece. To finish it off, it scribbled a message onto the wall that I couldn't read in the darkness. It then positioned itself under my bed, waiting to strike. The scariest thing now is that my eyes have adjusted to the darkness since then, and I can read the message on the wall. I don't want to look at it, because it's terrifying to think about. But I feel like I need to see, before I'm killed. I peek at the creature's masterpiece. I know you're awake.